Kaplan. Police in Denver still have not released any suspect information after three people were killed in a Denver apartment last night. A young boy is one of the victims, and this happened near the intersection of Dunkirk and 56th Avenue in Denver's Green Valley Ranch neighborhood. And Denver 7's Micah Smith is there and joins us now live. Micah, still so many unknowns about this shooting, which has neighbors, as you can imagine, worried. Jacqueline and Ann, still so many questions surrounding this case. We went back to the neighborhood where this happened and we talked to a few residents who say they are still waiting for answers from the complex and from police. Around six o'clock in the evening, just as many East Range Crossings residents were arriving home from work, they found Denver police officers surrounding their homes. A man, a woman, and a young child. They've been shot multiple times. All found shot to death inside this second floor apartment. We would appreciate any assistance the public can provide in uh, tips, information regarding the individual or individuals who may be responsible for this. But nearly 24 hours after the shooting, DPD hadn't released a description of the suspect, and many residents say they don't know who to look for. Just walked around to over there on the other side of the building just to see what was going on and, you know, see and take. With the suspect still out there, these two residents asked to remain anonymous. It's too close to home. Too much has gone on over here already. The resident says this includes violence and theft. My stereo system, it was just like a, it, it was crazy. It was like a 20 or $30 radio. It was one of I was going to switch out eventually, but my subs was taken as well. I mean, I try to stay up out the way, you know, I run my own business and I just try to take care of my family. Both residents say, despite the aesthetics, that's what the majority of residents here are trying to do. Nowadays, you gotta sleep with one eye open, make sure your car is not getting broken into, or, you know, gotta be worried about the kids coming outside playing. But with this latest shooting, they're both considering finding new homes. Strain Crossings Management to find out if there are any plans to increase security following this incident. They said they will not comment at this time. So we asked what residents should do if they have safety concerns for themselves or their families. They said those residents can reach out to property management with those concerns. Reporting live in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7. Yeah, very troubling. All right, Micah, thank you.